and welcome to Saugus High Inside Edition. I'm your host, Stephen Essery. This is a new TV show where we spew the news out. Uh, on today's episode, we have X2 announcements. Today, with these announcements, uh, we have seniors. Just a reminder, check out your Navia accounts and be sure to tell your parents about it. You can find your progress reports on X2 now. Be sure to tell your parents about that, too. And that concludes the X2 announcements. In recent news in Saugus, the MCAS scores have shown improvement. That's wonderful. Now to sports with Kevin. Thanks, Steve. Well, the fall sports season is in full effect. Uh, you want to go to the cross-country meets, you can go to them Wednesday the 12th. They're playing against Swampsky High School. They're playing at Peabody on Friday and at Gloucester on Wednesday, so it would be tough to get to those ones but you can go to them if you want. If you want to go to the golf matches, you really can't because you're not allowed on the course, so just wish them good luck and go on. Uh, you want to go to the field hockey games, they're playing Friday, Tuesday, and Thursday at home, all against in Marblehead, Swampskin, and Gloucester, all at home. Uh, they're doing pretty good, so you might want to get to a couple of their games. Uh, you want to go to the boys' soccer game. I know they're having a couple, uh, it's a tough year, but they're playing on the 20th against Swampskin High School at home. It'd be a good game to go to. <laughs> You go to the girls' soccer games, they're doing pretty good this year, I heard, and uh, you want to go, they're, going, they're playing Friday and Monday at home, uh, I believe, and they'd be good to go to, they're having a very good year. Want to go to the girls' volleyball games, you can go to the girls' volleyball games Thursday and Friday of this week, they are at home, and they're having a rough year, but it's giving some support. And the biggest team of the school, the football team, they're 1-4 this year, but you know they got their big win the other day, and you can catch them on Saturday against Winthrop. Or the next, next Friday night at Newburyport, it's going to be a good game, and you can show up if you want. And make sure you watch the Sports Lounge every Friday at 5.30 on Channel 8, and watch me, Dave Snow, Cody Yelder, and Dante Del Toro break down the weekly sports events. Back to you, Steve. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Now to Bobby with the weather. Thanks, Steve. All right, today is Tuesday the 18th, and um, it's going to be a little bit cloudy today. It's uh, going to be in the highs of 65, low 62. Uh, tomorrow is going to be scattered thunderstorms, probably probably 67 degrees at the most, and it'll probably get as low as like 51. Um, Thursday is going to be a little bit better, not as much rain, but still some. It's uh, going to be a lot cooler though that day on Thursday. Friday it should clear up and we'll have a lot of sun. Uh, it'll get a little bit warmer, but not too much. Saturday it's going to be pretty sunny and it's going to warm up to about 63, and the same thing for Sunday. So. Back to you, Steve. Great, Bob. Now to new teachers with Gabby Bono. And Chris Maffeo. I chose Saugus because there are a lot of really exciting things going on in the Library Media Center this year. We've been adding a lot of technology, of course, before I got here, but I was really excited with all of the new opportunities I had to help students integrate technology more. Um, what was your favorite subject in high school? high school? My favorite subject was English. Um, I was also an English major in undergrad. How do you get along with your coworkers? I get along really well with my coworkers. I think that the teachers and the staff at Saugus are all really friendly and really easy to work with. I've had no complaints so far, so it's been it's been a really good experience so far. What college did you attend? I went to the College of William and Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia, which is where I'm originally from. Do you agree with Wikipedia? I agree with the use of Wikipedia as a starting point. I don't think it should be used for research papers. One of my favorite features of starting with Wikipedia is there is the external references on the bottom of the page, and that's what I think Wikipedia can be useful for, not as an actual source that you would use in a research paper. Why did you start teaching? It's a good question because actually I didn't even want to be a teacher at all to begin with, but 
um, as I started working with young people and working with students, I realized this is something I could do. So with an art background and um, teaching a little bit of English in China, I felt like it just kind of naturally fit, so I went that way. Why did you choose Saugus? Why did I choose Saugus? Um, that's another interesting question because actually my wife, uh, Mrs. Oliver, started working here last year and um, she teaches the Mandarin class. And uh, Ms. Newberry actually went on maternity leave and they needed someone to fill in for her, so I started at the end of last year. Um, and then I was fortunate enough to be able to come back for a full year this year, so. What was your favorite subject in high school? My favorite subject in high school was definitely art. Um, from all the way through kindergarten on, um, I really enjoyed just being able to draw and paint and, and do things like that. Um, probably after that would be anatomy class. I thought it was really interesting to learn the muscles in the human body, so yeah. What subject do you teach? I teach three courses of art. It's basic art. And then I'm also a special education teacher, so I work with several teachers in either English or science or some other area um, to help the students who need a little bit more help. And um, I also have a study center as well. What college did you attend? I went to the University of West Georgia, which is about an hour outside of Atlanta, down in, um, down in the south. So. Do you like the ID rule? The ID rule. Um, I'm not sure I really have an opinion on it. Um, I think it's good just to have everyone consistent and we know, um, especially these days when things are just not as safe as they used to be, just having an ID ensures that that's, that's going to happen. So um, I can go both ways on it, yeah. Hi, I'm Gabby Cogliano and today we're going to take a look inside Saugus High with our administration. Today I spoke with Mr. Diaria about our latest ID policy and this is what he had to say. The purpose of the ID is to have identification in school, which is a school board policy. And with your ID, you have a meal plan on there so your parents can put money on your ID so you swipe it. That's, that's money to get books out of the library is destiny and to get um, to go to the nurse that you log in the nurse so they have a record back and forth of all transactions. So we want to make sure that everybody in the building has an ID so we know who belongs and who does not belong. Thank you to Ms. Sidiori for taking time to talk to us about this topic. We will be trying to talk to other administrators each show to keep you updated on the inside scoop here at Saugus High. Oh Gabby, you always get me. <laughs> that reminds me, today's word of the day is ananananas. It means pineapple. Today's agenda report is really serious. It's about child abuse. All staffs are aware of the signs of child abuse and neglect, and the principal on a yearly basis informs all professional staff of their obligations to report cases of child abuse and neglect as specified in MGL Chapter 119, 51A to 51F, and MGI Chapter 71, 371. This week's lunch is Monday, ham and cheese on a bagel, Tuesday, chicken ziti broccoli with garlic and oil, I might add, Wednesday, Texas toast grilled cheese, tomato soup, yummy, Thursday, pasta with meatballs, and on Friday, we eat chicken broccoli alfredo. This is usually the part of the show where I answer your questions, but sadly, we don't have any, so we'd like you to give us some questions by either emailing Mr. Webb, putting it in his door, there will be a slot for it, or putting it in his mailbox. It's totally anonymous, so you can ask anything you want as long as it pertains to the school, or the show, or maybe even lunch. Thank you. This is Stephen Essery signing off Saugus High Insider Edition. Thank you. <laughs>